Daily Broadside, day 394. X Games, if you want to impress me, I got one word for you. Or two words for you. It might be two words, I don't know. Penny farthing. And if you don't know what a penny farthing is, you know what a penny farthing is. You just don't know what a penny farthing is. A penny farthing is one of those old-timey bicycles from the 1880s or whatever. It has like a seven-foot diameter rear wheel, front wheel rather, and a four-inch diameter rear wheel. Now, you take that thing off some sick jumps, as Napoleon would say, or some ramps or whatever, do some flips on a penny farthing, uh, penny farthing flips, PFFs, as they're known in the biz, I'll start to be impressed with your acumen on the ramp, you know what I mean? And dear people that think that Chicago area Walmart shouldn't close because they're losing all of their inventory to theft and looting and rioting and whatever, please provide us with a, a viable solution by which Walmart can see their way through these dark days. Like, what are they supposed to do? Seriously, just lock up every single item in the store and have it under lock and key and have to, I mean, hire uh, 47 more people um, just to unlock stuff for people to just generally shop. I mean, what are they supposed to do? What are they supposed to do other than close their doors? That's business right there. If you're losing money, you close the doors and move on, all right? Uh, in a town nearby where I live, a Sheets convenience store, kind of a megapolis when it, in the convenience store world, right? It's like a mini Bucky's, uh, right? But uh, they closed because they didn't do their homework, apparently, and put it in a really crappy neighborhood. Um, and nothing but heroin ODs and theft and employee theft and embezzlement and just vagrants. And just everything you can think of. And they were like, it ain't worth it. Bye. And shut it down. I love it. Because what else is the solution? And dear Metallica, I have listened to uh, your new album, 72 Seasons. I think that's what it's called. The yellow one. And I got a couple things to say. First of all, it sounds like Death Magnetic Part 2, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with Death Magnetic. I think it's okay, but I got a couple problems, all right? The cymbal crashes with the bass drum just every five seconds uh, just to punctuate chords. It's, I mean, Lars has really gotten into a dumb, dumb habit of doing that at like 400 times a song. And Kirk Hammett... Man, like, I don't even know who you are anymore. Like, you haven't done anything. You haven't had a cool solo since some of the stuff on the Black Album. The first four albums, okay, of Kirk Hammett's career were absolutely awesome. Now, you can say that Kill 'Em All was just a bunch of uh, different versions of 12th fret pentatonic just flurries. But there were some interesting solos on there. But Master, Ride the Lightning, and, and Justice especially... Those solos, you can tell that he sat down and worked those out and wrote them like songs. They were amazing. Every one of those solos is just, it's a song within a song. It's just amazing. And now he just sends it in, just mails it in. It's just crap. It's the same stuff every day. Here's what Metallica needs, okay? James stays on. Robert stays on, although I'd love for Jason to come back. Jason, I think, is my favorite bassist uh, because he was just so good live. Uh, I wish Jason had uh, the combination of Cliff's like arrangement and musicality, uh, but was Jason, you know. But anyway, you keep Robert, you keep James as they are. Uh, you hire a new drummer, but Lars is still there to arrange the songs in the studio because he does that really well. He can take parts and move them around and change things and that kind of stuff. He's good at that, but he's a horrible drummer at this stage of his life. He just can't keep up and he can't do anything new. All right. Uh, get somebody, Chris Adler, Eloy, somebody, steal somebody from another band, damn it, and get another guitarist. Damn. Like, Kirk, you just, it's the same old crap. It's the same old crap, and it's the same old crap, all right? It's, uh, he, Kirk Hammett should go uh, ride a penny farthing in the X Games. That's what he should just find a completely different strand of life to deal with and go from there, you know? And uh, a Brad all, B R A D A W L, is the proper word for an awl, which is a wood and leather working tool. Uh, why didn't uh, Basic Instinct Sharon Stone, why didn't she kill with an awl instead of an ice pick? It just seems like a much more sturdy version of an ice pick because you could easily break an ice pick on a bone. Easy. I mean, and then you're worried about stabbing yourself, you know? 
getting a bunch of uh, meat, tissue, and blood all over you. And that's not good when anybody does it. But it doesn't matter because that movie was made 30 years ago, 30 some years ago. And uh, we're not going back to remake it. God, I hope they don't remake that. It's a good movie. They should stop remaking everything. All remade movies suck horse. They suck, they suck horse. That's why they suck horse. Hey, giddy up.